Hey Coops, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just about to do another one of my videos actually. Oh yeah, what's what's this one about? Um after Oh! Oh yeah, hi. It's that sorry about that. <laughs> Confused with what what's happening. Um Welcome to uh another Coop Shows You. Um on this episode I'll uh sorry, I'm just a bit oh my battery's low. So it's on there. Uh, just um, going to do you a video on the synthesis. I don't know if you've heard of um, synthesism before. Um, there's this thing in school called photosynthesis, which is um, how uh, cameras uh, make sounds and stuff. Um, so now there's uh, synthesis. They got rid of the photo because... Uh, Nobody needs photos anymore because we've got video. Um, and uh, I'm just, I, I'm just going. I don't know if you've noticed. I've gone fully with my style this time because um, I've got this stick. Look how high you can go. Um, the selfie stick. I got it back in the 2014, I think, or something like that, when they were all the rage. Uh, but I'm a bit of a stickler for retro stuff. So I thought I'd just utilise it. Um, here I am. Um, it's the same setup as usual in the studio. My studio setup here um, with all of the kit. This one's got the lights on again, as always. And here's here's that. So I'm going to work talk to you about synthesis. Um, that involves using a synthesizer. And people are probably going, what's he pointing at that keyboard for? Saying synthesizer, idiot. I'm not an idiot, actually. Um, this is a synthesizer. Um, the synthesis bit is this bit here, just along the top. You see that? Zoom in. This section. That's not, that's the wrong bit. That's not even it. There we go. This section here is where all of the synthesis happens. And that's where signals called electric go in and they circle around all of these knobs here um, and they go through this screen and this knob here which you can change it's a bit dusty because it's retro um, so it circles around here and then it gets pushed out of this uh, cable here which is called a jack cable um, and then goes into all of the other kit I've shown you before, um, including th this particular here. Drop that there. So, bear with me a minute. I'll go back to the old style. Um, uh, more in a kind of this great in your face thing. Let's probably get on with some sounds. So, over to the synthesizer here. Now, if you know how to use the keyboard, um, it's probably going to hinder you, actually. I've got quite a few edits to make in this one. It keeps popping out of my holder. Um, yeah, so something about what I was saying a minute ago. Um, so what we do is we press different things on here. Oh, you got that sound. Can you hear that? Probably not. I know. I'll just I've got it on techno house mode at the moment, which is a mode where the sounds are made for um, a style of music called techno house. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I haven't, but it sounds great. I mean, it's basically a song. Um, once you get a synthesizer, it just makes songs for you, really. Uh, so there's one song done. Um, if I press one of these, change to a different song. Yeah. Oh. 
Well, it's not a full song, um, but you can imagine, you know, that you add some other bits to it and make it into... It's kind of what it is. It's an instrument, really, rather than a full song machine. So you can change things with it. You can turn this around and go retro, which is what I've always about, isn't it? So... Yeah, that's that bit back. Like you, you, you remember the '80s, or some of you will. This is also. Ah. Oh. So that's you know, there's more sounds. All these buttons they do different things, and then you can change. If I move these around a bit, like that. Change that. Take that up. Take that down, maybe. I mean, all these words here tell you bit too much detail really I think it's easier just to just have a little switch around and then just just whack it up loud and then try it now don't tell me you wouldn't want to buy a song that was mainly this because I'm vibing I'm just telling you that now I can change octaves and that's like pitch I guess um, I don't know if you know much about music theory, but there's all these different letters. There's a C and a G. There's other ones as well. And then when you change these, it makes them sharp, like more uh, aggressive. Like that was, I've gone up one aggressive note there because I that was lit before. Now that one is. I can go up even more aggressive up to like, oh my God. Like that. Um... So, um, I mentioned quantizing before. Now you can quantize sounds, but that's where you need all the rest of this kit, and that's a bit more advanced, really. I just thought, well, it's not more advanced than you know this lesson on synthesis, uh, which I think needed to be done. Uh, really, I think it's a under undervalued, and and there's a lot of people who just don't understand it. You know, that's why I thought it made sense for me to do this. Um, there's another setting here. Don't tell me you don't want to drop the bomb after hearing that. I feel a bit emotional after that one. That was quite amazing. And that was thanks to what that's done is that, you know, I've mentioned these before, that has changed it to what's called a preset. So all of my changing of things here, if you on rare occasions mess up the sound so much it's unenjoyable you just turn this to another one and it will change it to a preset for you this will probably be good well it's not um let's try that one drum and d and b d sounds a drum mm. it's an abbreviation of the word and that's why it's got a little apostrophe inside of the n of the n for lowercase n and b uh, capital B is for bass, bass, bass in your face. Dude, make me do anything that you don't like the taste of. Wastage water. That's just an example of some of my um, freestyle rap abilities. Um, want to check out more of that? Look at more of the Superman cabins. Uh, so let, I'll just give you a quick drum and drum and bass breaks example. I'll go with like. Number ten because the A side B side changes to and you know that's all you really need to know about synthesis. You get one of these; it's called a synthesizer, and um, just s spin that around and then choose different bits. Really. Um, it's like power supply, like funky power supply, which would be a great name for an for a band or like an album of a band. Or if if you did have a band, you could the al first album could be self titled and it could be called what I just said, funky electric or something, funky power supply. Um. I mean, there are other things. I just I don't want to shortchange you, but I don't want to give you too much at the same time. Do you know what I mean? It's it's quite difficult being um, 
uh, having so many people rely on your you know, info. Um, I'll give you one more thing. It's a thing called pitch wheel here. And when you move it, it adjusts the sound. So it didn't really work there. Let's just do it up. This isn't a good example, really. It's not working out for me. Oh yeah, hear that? It's like an electro baby crying. Um, arpeggiator I'll come into another time because I'll do one about MIDI, which is a system that professional musicians such as myself use. Uh, it is micro MIDI microprocessing inside digital integration. Um, and that's how the signals go from one piece of kit to another. So with the um, synthesizer, the, the synthesis, the synthesis, the synthesis signal, the synthesis signal comes out of here um, directly into the the speakers essentially. So there's no conversion there. I mean that that's just this is pure. Um, whereas MIDI is just like dots, it's like invisible electro dots. And then your computer and the other bits that you have to buy interpret that. I'm getting into it and I don't want to, so I'm going to do that in one of my other videos. Um, coming up soon, uh, I'm going to be doing a video on lyric writing um, for different genres. I'm probably going to start with something that's kind of universal, like a, an appeal for everyone out there so no one feels a bit intimidated or anything. So I might do it about kind of space-based indie rap because uh, we all know it, you know, it's all what we're used to. Um, and rightly so, because I can't get enough of it. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, and continue taking out all the suggestions that you guys have been pouring in. It's been it's been amazing the support you've given me and Precipto Man for you know what we're doing here, grassroots music, entertainment, and uh, hopefully action figures somewhere down the line. Uh, it's good. Um, keep keep in touch at Cooper Nut on. On, the tw on Twitter, I think. I don't really use Twitter, though, so just find me on Instagram or on, on Facebook. Um, Cooper Nut on Facebook. Precipto Man on both. Um, we're kind of we're multi-platform, really. We're a bit like, you know, the Need for Speed series. Um, but it's more the need for quality... creativity I would say thanks for watching guys um, I'll see you soon um, let, give me feedback on the stick whether you think that was good or not I mean I thought it was gonna help with the whole Greta style but as ever I've, I've gone up my style's a bit of a mix isn't it um, so uh, uh, I'll put some links on this or something cheers bye